Hello, Gameaholics, and welcome to a new thing for Invicta Magazine. My name's Ben, uh, and welcome to a pile of steam. This is going to be a new fortnightly thing where I look at some of the cheapest games on Steam and see if they're worthy of your money or not. Now, there are a few rules before we begin. So the first rule is I am not going to be doing any free-to-play games. That is because a lot of the free-to-play games on Steam are normally mobile games that have been ported over to Steam or they are MMORPGs. No, sir. No, thank you. <clears throat> the second rule is no multiplayer games. I do not do multiplayer games. Uh, mainly because I don't like people. Uh, so these are all going to be single player experiences. Or if there is a multiplayer element in them, I will talk about that. But mostly these, these will be all single player experiences. And number three, they have got to be at the absolute bottom of the list for whatever word I am searching for this week. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to what we're doing this week. Uh, so the word this week that I picked out uh, was, in a random word generator, was the word pledge. And the word pledge came up, the first hit, for 79 pence of your money, was this White and Law Dream Time. Looks quite like an interesting RPG. Um, on the Steam page, this is what it's got to say about it. It's developed by a company known as Druid Gameworks Studio. And the synopsis says this. In White and Lord Dreamtime, you assume the role of a young ursine, brave whose destiny has not yet been determined. Guided by a spirit totem animal, you embark on an astral journey into the spirit world to stand before your patron deity and receive divine messages about your destiny. However, there is something far less benevolent than a goddess waiting for you in the midst. Find yourself swept up in the chaos of an ancient battle for power, the outcome of which hinges on your decisions and a weapon that could lead you to salvation or ruin. The path you take and the choices you make will determine the story's outcome and alter the very fabric of the world. White and World Dreamtime is a single-player story-driven RP adventure RPG for Windows PC being developed on Unreal Engine 4. Now that last point makes me very, very excited. Unreal Engine 4, we all know what that could be like. Alright then, let's have a look at these settings first. So we've got a difficulty slider here. Master, novice, journeyman, expert. Okay, let's set that to journeyman. Let's see how that goes. Uh, okay, game mode. No, I can't change that for some reason. Footprint. Oh, that seems weird. Um, okay, uh, footprints on or off. Hide your eyes. Uh, dead is dead. <laughs> I never thought that I would ever play a game where they had... A setting that says, dead is dead. Since the first cycle of the wheel, the dawn of life in Arthenswald, many have sought to possess the secrets of the world's divine power. Yet their reckless pursuit exposed a darkness that had long been concealed. Yes, fantastic Without understanding the dangers lurking, they crafted a weapon that could unravel the tapestry of the world. Should it fall into malevolent hands, and the shadows began their rise to claim it, dragging the Nefeniri into the abyss. In the fires of Emberfold, the Nefeniri forged a master key, for a time to come that their weapon must inevitably be recovered, for good or ill, to serve as guardians to the master key. So there's for polar bear gods, polar bear gods here. Their watch steadfast. But as the years passed into centuries, the Ursines lost sight of their true purpose. Hope was rekindled among the diminished tribes. This is a very long game. An Ursine would come from a distant land as a cub with no father and sets the wheel in motion once more. Within the dreaming, our great mother awaits to reveal their fortune. It is a destiny they will embrace or defy. A destiny that will shape the future of us all. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you can't knock them for for decent, you know. Oh, okay, we're in. Yeah, you you, you can't knock them for, uh, for for giving the whole thing um, a sense of uh, you know this is this is a big game. This matters. 
All right, then. I'm going to guess that we're playing as uh, a, a, an Ursine, which seems to be some kind of bear. Um, I can't... I can't do... I can't change anything. So that, I guess this is me, then. Um, okay. Uh, the tribe is Blackhaw, then, I guess. I shall be... Oh, I'll be a male Ursine. Fine. Okay, okay, immediately. I can't change his weight, I can't change his height, and I can't change his markings. Now, if you're going to do character customization, I kind of feel like they're two things that you would want to, to change. So we'd be a red bear. Let's be a red bear. Let's give some... I can't... Okay, so I can get a shoulder scar. Some... I can't... Oh, another scar. I can't. Mm, no, no idea. Oh, tattoos. Oh, okay. Fine. Oh, see, like, this is where I fall down with RPGs when you've got so many different sliders in front of you, and there's just the amount of customization is just ludicrous. Uh, you down there, you there, you. There and you, there, there he is. Fine. Okay, let's have a look at the different class options then. So we've got warrior, which is probably the the one that makes sense for a bear, right? Um, a scout, a cell sword, pilgrim. Interesting. A bard. I'm down for that. Uh, an assassin. A bear assassin. How does that work? Answers on a postcard. Rogue. Uh, why is the rogue got a... Okay, fine. Sage. Druid. Hunter. Thief. Magus. Warden. And you can choose your own. You can make your own. Ooh, I'm, I'm getting Oblivion vibes here. Um, I'm going to be pretty basic, though, and go for a warrior. Um, and what should our bear name be? Uh, we are going to be named Yogi. There we go. And we're in. Rise and shine, Ursine. Today, you meet your destiny. How do you feel? Really confused. I'm a bear. That's the spirit. A black claw must grasp their fate with both paws. <laughs> okay. You'll find out soon enough. Unless you'd rather spend the day asking questions. Sassy? Uncle? Whoa. Fine. Okay, so it seems like we're in first person. Which, uh, that's fine. Ooh. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Oh, that's nice movement. Um, it should be noted, and I will note it here. Um, this game is in early access. Um, so, I imagine that some of this might be a little bit janky, as we're finding out here. Jeez. Ooh, that's... How far does he jump? <laughs> ah, yes, Uncle, you did not know this about me. I can leap buildings in a single bound. E? Ah, E. Yes. Okay. I'll push him. Yep. Yeah. Um, and just maybe he'll tell me what to do. Oh. Okay. It seems you cannot move when you've got a torch equipped. Good. You have oh. them all. Follow me. Okay, let's put you away. Okay. So you can't move when you've got a torch in your hand. That's where did he go? This is quite a nice environment. It would be nice if I could see it without Feeling sick when I'm moving. God. 
Ah, I'm walked. Ah, that's much better. Why was that not the default we'll head setting? To the training grounds. Cool. Basically, don't run in this game. You may throw up. Um, I've never understood this in, in RPGs. Um, and certainly just not this game. Why do they always put the training place or the where you're going really far away from where you start watch yourselves young ones watch out for boars whilst you're on the course ah yes the natural They've enemy been of the bears encroaching on the river lately and the males are very territorial um the environments are i mean they're okay i wasn't expecting much for 79p and this is yeah, it's all right yeah I will say, the map is very confusing. So just take a look to your bottom left for a minute. That's the map. Um, the thing in the middle is completely inconsequential. It doesn't mean anything. It's the outside ring that is a map. Okay? So the more that you, you see, the more you turn, the more it kind of goes around and stuff. Um, there's two dots. Two big yellow dots up there. That's the quests. So I have to follow those big yellow dots to try and get to the quest, which is fine. It's, I don't think it's great, though, in terms of a map. I normally really like maps in video games as well. You know as well as I how impetuous he can be. I spend half of my days worrying what trouble he'll get into next. The other half, to be fair, with a name worrying. like Sabu, he's definitely done case, something I think I ridiculous. May be rightly concerned. And if you didn't he get that reference, that means you never watched year. ECW. And recently, I guess we'll go this way then, seeing as every single quest on the map is this way. Oh, speaking of the map, let's have a look at the map. I saw there was a thing here. Okay, it's a map. Map I can't do anything with at the moment. Hit that there. Okay. Thought, <laughs> who says this? <laughs> Can you imagine if you had someone next to you while you were doing archery and every single time that you that you hit the target, you had someone go, Thud! Whack! Boom! <laughs> Zing just... <laughs> okay, so they're at least aware of it. Fine. I don't have my. Where's my bow? I can't. I can't do it because I don't have my bow. Yes. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. It's equipped. Should we try? Should we try that? Maybe. Okay, this is good. This quest isn't completable. Right, let's go over here because there was somebody over here. Um, all the music has stopped. I don't know why. Um, Got to guess it's something to do with the quest that I was trying to do. But it is a shame because I was very much enjoying the music. What did you do today, Yogi? Oh, you know, not much. Just kind of walked around a bit. Talk to a few people. That was it, really. I want to complete some quests now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lighting change. Now oh, we've got to run the course. We're running, running through the woods. Big jump. Oh, yeah. 
big jump. Yeah. Lara Croft, eat your heart out. Is that was that a floating? Oh, it's like a bug thing. That's nice. Just G to activate the grab system. <laughs> Oh, has Unreal Engine started doing physics? Is this why? Okay. I've made it to a place. Oh, shit. I don't know how to fight people yet. Don't be mean. Is that it? Are we done? Did I go the wrong way? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh no, I've got to go this way. Down we come. This must be the end. Through the finish line. Look at that. Speed of a something that's not a bear a fast thing oh it's it's C to do that oh and then the music comes back they ooh. well there you go Get my bow out. So ready. Yes. So that's where we're aiming. Okay. I've played Sniper Elite 4. Said I've played Sniper Elite 4. Okay. Um. I never said I played it well. To put that away. Don't initiate the grab. I crouch. How do you crouch? Time is map. Okay, is, I mean, we're not even going to go into that. Ah, that's Crouch. H. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, up. I can't finish this quest. I can't. I can't. Okay. Why can I not talk to you? I don't know. Oh. Gosh. So that was Wit and Law Dream Time. Um, I mean, it's in early access at the moment, so maybe things will improve. Certainly, I had a lot of trouble completing games, moving around, and generally just, you know, doing anything within it. But if it's your thing, then, you know, definitely pick it up. It's 79p. Um, I will say that the like it's ambitious. It's very ambitious. Um, if they're able to do it in the manner that they obviously want to, then it'll be it'll be very good uh, if it's your kind of thing. Uh, I would say at the moment, 
I would I would steer clear. So that's unfortunately that means that Witten Law gets a nay from me this week. Um, but yeah, if you like bears and wandering around kind of aimlessly, not being able to do anything, then get on it. Thank you very much for joining me for Invicta Magazine. My name's been Ben. Uh, I hope to see you next time on Steam. But if you like any of our other stuff, do make sure that you check out our YouTube channel. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and stream regularly on Twitch, so do make sure that you check it out. But for now, this is Ben signing off by saying, you love me, I love you. Bear puns.